Hey, this morning I wanted to walk us through getting into the classroom notebook. You are looking at my home screen. So let's get started. The first thing that uh, you need to be doing to get into the classroom notebook, for most of you, you would be going to Cobb County webpage, Cobb County's home webpage. So let me get there. You'll go to the Cobb County home webpage. Oh, by the way, you're looking at my computer screen. So that's how we're doing this. Anyway, you'll go to Cobb County homepage. You'll go to the parent section and you'll go into Office 365 and you will go to the sign in page. You click on that over here is where your student or you, if you are the student viewing this, this is where you're going to enter in your pass word and your username. So give me a second while I do that. And you'll go ahead and sign in. I have clicked on this sign several times. Um, it's, our computers will not let it remember our passwords. You can set it to where it remembers your password. You are looking at then your Office 365 homepage. Just a couple of things to point out. There's your Word. You can get to Excel. You can get to OneNote right there. Sways down here forms, videos, so you can get to different things. Your OneDrive uh, folder is right there also, so you can get to those. Me, I'm going to go over to Class Notebook and click on Class Notebook. I'll have to go through a couple of more steps than you will because I have to go to Manage Notebooks. And you might have one or two notebooks over here also. You got to make sure that you are in Long's class 2019-2020, click on that. I have this page where I can give permission and manage my notebooks. You just need to go to open notebook. And anywhere within this process, if you get a failed error message, just go back, refresh the page. Um, you might have to do that a couple of times. You might have to log out, log back in. You are now looking at the classroom notebook <clears throat> page. But what do we want to do? We want to open in app. Always open in app. You can make it a little chant if you'd like. Open in app. Open in app. Anyway, click on that button right there. Ignore this, but it says, let's see, da, 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 open OneNote. Sure, go ahead. Let's open up OneNote. Now you are in the OneNote app. This is where if you make changes, they will save automatically. They should. Right over here, you should see Long's Class 2019-2020. If you just saw those little arrows there, that was the syncing arrows. And I will walk us right into that here in a second. Up here on my computer, um, I have a cloud with a little check mark. That means it's connected to the cloud. It is synced to the cloud. That means the latest version of the classroom notebook is up. And you can see that that was just going through that. If you would just like to make sure that your classroom notebook is in sync with mine and everybody else's, you come down there. You can open oh, and go back right click on that and you should get this drop down menu and it says sync and sync this notebook. I have several different notebooks. I can sync them all together, but let's just sync this one. And you see those arrows come up right there. What you should be seeing on your OneNote page, you will still see your collaboration page. I don't know if you see this content library page. It's really my page. If you do see it, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And here's an example of somebody's page that you would see that was open. This is Alex's page. You should 
digital learning, login information, math, reading, science, social studies, and ELA. Um, digital learning. I did a couple of things yesterday, so I'll kind of walk you through that. But look, here's Friday's lessons. That's interesting. I think I understand something now. But anyway, there's Monday's lessons and Tuesday's lessons. Uh, yesterday, people were having a hard time with the links working. I think I just saw something that I did uh, that might have been a difference. I, I'm going to go back and look at that and see. If your links do not work, though, on your lesson plan page, come up here, click on this link. Let me, for a second here, click on this link. Open that link. You see this file right up here? It says open this file. Now, for me, my Word document page down here on my taskbar will start blinging. That means it's open that up. You do not need to open up Enable, but just now you can scroll down, and if you move your cursor over a link, it will now work, and you'll see that control click to follow the link. And so you can do that. Now, this is the Discovery Ed video. I click to follow that. Let's see what's happening here. Now, when you're doing this, it might say Microsoft has identified a security concern. Look, all these links are safe. It's fine. So now, when we're, when we, if we've assigned a video to watch, it's going to take you, oh, I thought it would take you back to your sign-in page. Yesterday it did. Uh, this morning it didn't take me back to my sign-in page. But if it does, just sign back in. But eventually you'll end up at this page. And then you can just click on that and you can watch that video. So let's go back to the classroom notebook. See, I have all these windows open up, up here because I'm working hard. So anyway, going back to the classroom notebook. What happened to my classroom notebook? Okay, maybe I go down here. All right, here we are. We're back at our classroom notebook. So that's how you get to the links. If they're not working, just click on this icon up here and then go in and you can click on the different um, links and those will work. Look. Oh, shouldn't, didn't really want to show that page like that. But anyway, there you go. There's all your login information for all your stuff. Also, somebody mentioned to me yesterday um, about their brain pop scores. So I put in a brain pop score page. I was just looking at something real quick. A brain pop score page. You can just go in there and say, hey, Mr. Long, ba -da -da, so and so. And I took my brain pop quiz and you can put your score on there. And then that'll let me know that you took it. All right. I want to cut down on some of the documents that you're having to share with me because I'm just putting them into your OneNote. And so I have to save them and then upload them. So I'm going to kind of walk you through some of that right there. So if you've created a document, a couple of things. I In the ELA section, on a, you can create pages down here. Just add a page. My opinion paper. If you've written your opinion paper, then you could just go up here, insert, file, and then you could, wherever you save your opinion paper on your document or on your computer, then you could find that document and click in there I'll kind of walk you through that here in a second a little more, I guess. But you can find your document and then paste it into your opinion paper page. Then you just have to send me an email saying, hey, I uploaded my opinion paper. It's in the classroom notebook. Please go look at it. And I will look at it. So a couple of things there. So... Try using your ELA page. Also in reading, I made a reading journal page. We're going to talk more about that in another video. 
but I do want you guys to start journaling. So give me the title of the book, the author of the book, and, you know, uh, start a daily journal. So you would just put the title of the book up here and then maybe the author of the book, go down a page, you know, type in the date, 318, 20, and just start a little journal about what you read, what you thought. We'll give some more instruction in that also as we go through this. Remember, this is only day four of the cap uh, being captive, so uh, we got a lot of stuff to do. Going to try to make it a little more fun. Anyway, so get your reading journal going. In your math page, I have put in some videos of of decimals, introduction to decimals, how decimals work. I'll put in a couple of more. So look for those as you go through the day, as you go through the week. I'll be put them in there. I'll let them let you know that I put them in there. So that's how that works. So now let's go through. Let's go through putting a document into your page. I was looking, okay, so like here's Campbell's page. She can come in here. She has a, there is a writing tab, I thought. All right, oh, and I've already put hers in there. So let me go to somebody that doesn't have one in there yet. Um, let's go to Evan Townsend, because he did some stuff that was pretty interesting. So he has his story starter right there. Now, this is, how you, this is how you have to do this. So you just click on your page, hit insert file. If you have worked in your OneDrive, you can create a file in your OneDrive that just says writing. And so you create that file um, and click on that. You go over here and find that. And here's Evan T. Um, there's his actual document. All right. And you hit. You click on it, you see it come down here in the file name, you hit open, and it puts that, it'll put a link in there for me to get to. You could also insert it, here, let me delete this. You can also insert it as a printout if you just want me to see the whole page. And so again, you go back over wherever you saved it at and hit this, and it put it in there kind of as a PDF. Um, I have to go in here and arrange this stuff, but you can see a story starter right there. I could read that, put in some notes over here on the side. I can also shrink this and make it better and all fit and everything. Um, you guys can do the same thing. If you don't really want to worry about that, then you don't need to worry about that. I can fix it all up as I go through it. All right, so that's how one way you get your story starter in there. I'm gonna delete that for right now. Uh, notice I deleted his link, but it's still there. That's cool. So you can put that in there. Now, let's see. Oh, I created a couple of more pages because I was gonna show you guys this. Let's see. In the collaboration section, there's a share your writing, say hi to everyone. Um, so I'll put this up there for you because Evan T did do uh, something pretty cool. So along with his opinion piece, he created a PowerPoint on zoos. And so now you could get in there, click on Evan T's PowerPoint, and you can see that if you had some writing that you wanted to share. And we're going to be doing some other things, but if you wanted to share those, you could right there. Also say hi to everyone. So here I put up a little page where you can go in there and just say, hey guys, what's going on? You know, and you, we can kind of get a little dialogue going back and forth with each other right there. Uh, we're working on some other ways that you guys can communicate with each other. Also, I have some ideas for some videos coming up. So don't miss that video about putting videos on here. All right, that's pretty, that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, so that's about it for the classroom notebook, if you had a specific question and you wanted me to show you how to do it, or you can do it. Um, we have been really back and forth with Microsoft and this classroom notebook. Hopefully it's working really smoothly right now. It seems to be. 
you should see all of these pages over here. You should see your page, all of your